What's up, guys, and welcome back once again to the first. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, just go for it. I'm gonna say the first realm. Uh, don't, right. don't we just go ahead for it. <laughs> nah, hold on. I don't like that shit. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> we can't. We can't even fuck. We can't fuck up the name. I. I can't. Fuck I mean, up the name. that's embarrassing. We can just say like, <laughs> "Hey, guys, this is day two of this name." Yeah, anyway. If we fuck it up, we fuck it up. Yeah, let's just leave it in of whatever. It's going to be funny anyway. Anyway, guys, yeah. this is the one realm, not the first realm. We've only had, we've only had this name for a couple of days now, so still getting like, used to it when it comes to like intros. 12 hours. <laughs> yeah, not even today, so it has to get used to it, just like I'm sure you guys do. But regardless, the episode today is going to be all about leaks, what we think about leaks, what's wrong with leaks, and I'll go ahead and let And Thomas... the latest leaks. Exactly. I'll go ahead and let uh, Thomas... Take over because he's the one that has the most to say about this. So go ahead and go ahead and go after him. All right, just keep it simple. Leaks are stupid and are bad for the community. And I feel like I'm running for president, saying that to say something like that. <laughs> That's literally all you gotta say. Like this is bad and this is bad. That's all. But make me your president. No, um, we have had leaks from. Well, we have, leaks is not, are nothing new, don't get me wrong. But and we, I already said the story before a hundred times. I'm probably say a hundred times more, but not today because, well, the Google effect is boring now. But, um, no, from the fact that every game get leaked out. Um, so, uh, I think only game that did from the other realm that hasn't really been leaked like in that way was MKX that badly. People just, when the roster got quote-unquote leaked out, people just put two and two together. You can't make a game without Luke Kane. You can't make a game without um, certain aspects. So it's like pretty obvious then. Especially with the comic book when that was out. But they ba they, they bashed another realm as far as hmm. 2010 with MK9. So it's not like it's not, it doesn't like it's anything new. What you? How do you feel about them overall? Well, I mean, I, I'm I'm against leaks 100. percent And if if it wasn't for the fact that you know we cover this on a podcast, then I would do what I always do, which is ignore them completely. But because of course they are a topic that we need time to talk about, because. Whether you love them or you hate them, they are kind of part of the build-up to it. Um, so, it, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, luckily, Ed Boon last night, you know, he went out and pretty much completely destroyed... Let's hold that off. Let's hold that off. Let's hold that off. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, regardless, you know, regardless, thankfully, at times, people do come out and kind of, you know... Say you're fucking wrong. Yeah, exactly. Because if not, then there would have been... I'm not going to mention specific people because another cast guy's already went after them hard enough. But there are a lot of people out there who thrive on fake news. And so a lot of people, you know, out there that they put in a lot of effort to make these games. They put in a lot of effort to cover the games, like guys like Total MK, guys like the Nethercast, all these guys like Breast Poet as well. You know, all these guys that go out there and they make an effort to try to really try to keep things as honest as they can. And then there are other people like Dynasty. I'm just going to go ahead and say Dynasty and some other guys that go out there and. They kind of just thrive on this and use all this fake news and all these leaks to kind of manipulate the system, get, you know, casuals who aren't as deeply entrenched as, say, us or the Nethercast guys, etc., in what is actually going to go on in the, in the series and all that stuff. And they kind of get them excited about things that aren't going to happen. And if it's something like this where it's just a roster, then I guess it's not too bad, at least in, in this particular leak that we're going to kind of be just talking about today. But there's a lot of other times when they, they pr these leaks promise you a bunch of stuff that they never come through, and it kind of just leaves you disappointed. And that's one of the biggest issues with it is, of course, not only do you ruin a lot of the surprises that these companies and these, you know, these people that put in so much of their time, they want to surprise you. They want to thrill you with amazing reveals and stuff like that. And then these leaks, when they are true, they come out and they just fuck everything up. So I'm 100% against leaks. I'm pretty sure that... Just about every sane person on the planet who has suffered because of leaks and stuff like that is also going to be on the same page, are going to be against leaks. But unfortunately, they're, oh, they're nowadays they are a thing, whether it's movies, whether it's gaming, whether it's just about anything. Uh, somebody online is going to find something somehow, and they're going to try to ruin everything for everybody else. So that's, that's, that's kind of my thoughts on the whole 
on the whole leaks issue. And in this case in particular, um, it ruined the game for me. Not in like a way in the sense that it spoiled everything. It's like I looked at the roster, I looked at the story, and I was just disappointed. Like you, we talked that same night. I sent that video to you, and made my friend talk as well. It's like. I don't know how I feel about it. Like I like, yeah, this is the roster, and I mean, there's characters in it. But I told you from day one, like, these leaks have more impact now to casuals fans or really hardcore fans that don't know the behind the scenes. To the point, like, when the leaks came out before it was even announced, the whole game was even announced. They're like, oh yeah, that's that's cool, I guess. And now since the game was announced, it was like, that's 100% true now. And it hurts in a bigger way because, like, okay, so let's go ahead and talk about it since we are doing a quick one today. Everyone always pointed out how everyone takes what he says so seriously. He's like, eh, it's like, don't take it too seriously. And then somebody had the bright idea to, to tweet him, of all people, we already know the whole roster. And send the same picture that was been flowing around the internet, and he laughed at his face and, like, put that tweet back up when you see the actual roster. And I'm like, well, that's a relief for me, but it's like, the first of all, I'm happy because that whole thing was deconfirmed, and I'm happy. That makes me. So, Kronos, really, that, that's one of the names I think I heard. I'm like, I don't like that. Um, we talked a little bit yesterday about Kano's son supposedly being there. I'm just like, I looked at it, I'm like, I liked it, but it was too good to be true. And the point that I didn't like it at all. You have New Saibai, Jade, Fujin. Yeah, all those people that they said, and if that leak was right, that means some of the characters I really want on there are going to be on there, like Reiko. And we talked about that yesterday, too. So, when you get leaks like this, it's like, where do you go? Do you... And, like, do you just not watch those videos? And then you're a fair content creator. Because for me, it was super. Um, they lose some of your subscription, and lose some of your trust in them. Or do you... Go in there, like, all right, well, let's go for the game. And after this being said, I think we don't have to talk about leaks ever again. Like, I don't have to be conflicted with that ever again. Like, oh, the leaks came out about since we ran a podcast. We got to, I have to watch this and talk about it later. Yeah, I definitely think that um, we should make a point from here on out to not cover leaks. We. <laughs> We can, I don't know, like if, if something comes up that's interesting, then maybe we can like mention it here and there, but definitely like not be one of those, not be one of the shows or not be one of those channels that goes out and specifically tries to exploit things that are, have no basis of reality, you know, mm -hmm. and, and just try to exploit that to take, take advantage of people, waste their time essentially, because let's be honest, like how long was that video that you watched that you sent me? How long was it again? Uh, 17 to 20 minutes. Yeah, so it's 20 minutes of you sitting in front of a screen or whatever, listening to something that is completely fake. Maybe not completely fake because, of course, as I mentioned yesterday as well, the roster was extremely safe that they that they, that they you know proposed on there technically. And it that's was, why I said it was too good to be true. Yeah, like it was as safe as it gets. There were characters that everybody wants, and it was just... It's easy to predict those characters in the beginning of the game because they are literally fan favorites and they are literally state main staples of the game. They didn't throw in Kai. They didn't throw in, you know, like, or maybe they did, but I don't remember exactly. Nope, they did. Yeah, right? They didn't throw in people that are kind of out there a little bit. It was all just characters you would 100% expect to have an almost guaranteed chance to be in the game. So it just didn't really make a lot of sense, um, and it was just a waste of time for everybody. So... From here on out, I say we do our very best to avoid covering any kind of leaks. Yep, I, I am a hundred percent with you on that one. So no leaks, and 
to those who do cover leaks, fuck you. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's just a waste of our time. It's a waste of everybody else's time. So it's just yeah. absolutely no point in doing it. All right. <clears throat> so, I mean, leaks in general, like, what has been arguably your most devastating leak? Like, the one that has affected you the most? From this latest one or from all games? Yeah, in, in general, yeah, in general. I mean, they really don't affect me because it is. Me and my buddy realized this. When we when he finally came back in town and we were talking about the Mortal Kombat 11 trailer, we didn't realize how many people hated the MKX trailer uh, song as well. And I told him like, he's like, I everyone loves Wiz Khalifa, but everyone hates Me One Savage. I'm like, no, Leon, because we were we were still in high school when MKX was the yeah, now, so we were our senior year of high school, so we had a bunch of. A lot of other shit going on instead of um, uh, worrying about do everyone loves the more comeback X theme song for it. Yeah. So I can imagine. I wasn't much, I wasn't that big in the community until after I graduated. So Injustice Two, and that was the whole roster leak last year. And that's the thing when the roster is leaked out to me, it ruins the whole thing because that's my bread and butter. And I've learned to control my urges now when it comes to watching those videos. Because the leak ones, I'm like, uh, well, I mean, it could also be really fake, too, so it could go either way. And then um, the story mode, I just can't, I just refuse to watch it because, well, I want to hate myself in the end. Yeah, I, I definitely. I don't think I've ever watched a single story mode until actually until it was. I already played it myself. That's just you know, that's just the way. I think the best way to do it. Um, but unfortunately, yeah. as you mentioned, you know, that's the biggest thing for me too is the roster. And of course, this was thankfully fake. But let's just let's just go ahead and say, what if somebody does manage to release the actual roster in its entirety? That would make every single announcement that they make from here on out, like. Pointless. And, yeah, point. Not just pointless. I mean, I guess it would be cool to see gameplay and stuff like that. But at the same time, it completely takes Pickable. away from the shock factor. It takes away from any kind of you know like thrill of what the hell is about to happen. Who are we about to see? And all that stuff. It's every time you see. Oh, okay, we already know what's gonna happen. Like, what if they say Noob Cybot all of a sudden? You know, some people love him, some people hate him. But what if Noob Cybot pops on the screen? And you're like, eh, all right, whatever. But meanwhile, if you don't know about that, Noob Cybot does pop in. The relief for the fans of him to see him on there, and nobody would, of course, you would expect it, but nobody would know. So, taking away these developers' opportunities to present their game, to present these characters, it, it's just it's completely unfair. And it doesn't it isn't just in gaming; it's just it's also in movies and all that stuff. So, so like it's like like I said, the Google effect, and yeah, uh, that's like the biggest. Ish I've ever seen. Like, yeah, you. They worked really hard to work on something, and then now there's no point of talking about it from them. You know everything, and that's why I'm like, I'm relieved that when that Boon actually came out and just confirmed it. Because I don't even know it's really fake, and everything else that you see on see on the internet, you're going to take away a grain of salt. You should at least. So you now, should regardless, like let's just be real. Like half the times, people just want that, just want to get attention. People want to be recognized as you know somebody who, at, at some point, did some, just did something important. Like oh my god, they just broke the internet. They just whatever. And Ed Boon, I think, did a very very smart thing of debunking that immediately, um, yeah. especially because the guy was kind of going at him himself. Like it, I think Ed probably would have kind of ignored it if if somebody hadn't like gone at him purposely. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I think it's it's very good that Ed Boon did it because this is a very short cycle. So if they want to get people hyped up, that is also a very good way to do it. You know, interact yeah. with people and really show that this this is our game. This is our game. This isn't this isn't the leakers' game. This is gonna be what we want to do. So I like the fact that he kind of he kind of just put his balls on the table, so to speak, right there. 
I think I want. <laughs> it's just uh, it's just when you think when you say how you think of Edwin, just telling like his boss like fuck you guys. This is my game. <laughs> but um, one thing I can say that I enjoy what I enjoyed from that was there's no more. Oh well, is it true? Is it not? Because Edwin never debunked it before. But like, like I said, when you look at the if someone leaks, if someone's seen about leaks now, like, oh, well, fool me once, especially from those channels that I posted it to. Now, if you have reliable sources like Maximilian, Nethercast, Total MK, then you might be a little more susceptible to believing it. But those people who made those 20 minute videos and, well, pretty much you're wrong for just making that video, like, you're not, we're going to take your channel serious in that format out of you ever again. Definitely not, and rightfully so. I mean, at that point, when you start doing that stuff, you just, you should just, you should just fuck off. And I, I, I it's kind of funny because I actually, I actually started doing YouTube videos based on, you know, for Mortal Kombat, of course. Um, mm-hmm. based on something that was turned out to be not 100% true because it was Ed Boon saying, you know, you, you know what else would be cool and all that stuff. So I got ex- really excited, but that wasn't really a leak. You know, I saw a lot of people taking a lot of tra- a lot of, a lot of shit because they had been covering like that. They had been basically calling that confirmation that MK11 was coming out, and really it kind of was. Um, well, we, it was coming now since MKX, though. Yeah, of course. So it, it it is what it is, but that's a completely different thing. I see a lot of people like, hate on people who do videos like that based on a lot of things that Ed Boon tweets because he is a troll and he's you know he he'll admit himself um, he loves to fuck with people essentially. But leaks, uh, I don't know. I'm I'm still kind of in awe of the fact that people like Super and Dynasty will stoop that low to just cover leaks constantly. Making up stuff is it's it's really fucking annoying. It really. Is so here's the thing. From from the standpoint of what the time of the year is, I can see it because it did happen this time of year with Injustice and MKX. But that's also where. Um, so here's the thing: Super doesn't come, cover leaks really that often because I've watch this channel for the past well since injustice cycle but on that same note when um Dy- I mean this is where this is when I unfollowed Dynasty. There was uh quote there was leaks about MK eleven back when on E three and I was watching him make I made him watch him make this video and I'm looking at it and people, he's really like pushing this stuff, like, oh, MK 11's happening. This is, I think, around the that boom stuff. I'm like, guys, if you look at history, more combat slash injustice, those leaks aren't real until January, right before the game comes out. So why the hell are we covering things in May? Before the game, a whole year before the game even comes out, if it's coming out, and I think that's I made that comment, and I think I unfollowed him that same day. Well, I mean, rightfully so. Like, it, listen, if if it was just like one or two people out there complaining, like this guy's talking about fix shit all the time, then it would be it'd be one thing. But just about anybody who watches him, I've I've thankfully never watched one of his videos. I've I've I know about him by by fame because he's a topic of discussion. On a lot, on a lot, on whether it's in the comments or on the Discord, on on you know, and stuff like that, he is constantly getting under scrutiny because he's constantly doing videos that everybody knows what it is. It's just clickbait. It is literally just clickbait. So you know, at some point, you have to unfollow these guys, and you just have to kind of understand that there are going to be a lot of people out there that do watch that stuff. There are a lot of people that want to see that stuff. But if, you, if you're if you like us and you really love Mortal Kombat, then I always recommend that you stay away from that stuff. You watch the people and you listen to the people that that are going to try to give you, you know, facts based on what we're seeing. Not 
theor- theoretical stuff about like, oh, this might be true, this <laughs> might not be true, but who put it out? Some guy on 4chan. Who the hell is that guy on 4chan? Who, what has he ever done? How do we even know that he's ever had any association to that stuff? So I, all I'm trying to say is like before you go and watch that stuff, realize that a lot of times when you when you watch these leaks and when you pay attention to this stuff, you're not just hurting the, view, the the developers, but you're also hurting yourself because in the end of the day, at the end of the day, it is kind of ruining the experience for you, the person that's going to play the game or want to watch the movie, etc. So just stay away from it. Stay away from it and let the people like us who are covering it, let us kind of, you know, ruin our, not because it really ruin the game for us, but all, but kind of put ourselves through that when and let us tell you when something might be real and some, when something might not be real. You know, don't don't put yourself through that and just always take things with a grain of salt if you do go and watch that stuff. Because at the end of the day, if it doesn't come straight out of NetherRealm Studios or whatever company is developing, whatever it is, then there's a good chance that it's not true. So just don't let yourself get convinced by stuff and don't get your hopes up. Don't let things take down your hopes. You know what I mean? Just... Don't mm-hmm. really believe it until you see it because there's no reason to believe it until you have proof in front of you. So don't let yourself get emotionally attached as, to these leaks. They are what they are. A lot of times they're assholes. A lot of times they are true. But regardless, don't let that mess with your opinion on – on, or not, not your opinion, but on your hype levels and stuff like that because it's it's just not really worth it at the end of the day. I'm going to close with this on – I think that me and you talked about this, so I didn't make it in the video, but you can't take an uh, account where, take something serious where they literally type something, delete the account, and you're not answering any questions. If you want to make a leak video, make a leak assumption, or whatever the hell you want to call it, post, do what we have to do, just put your balls on the table and answer the questions afterwards. Exactly. That's the, that's the, those are the only people that are that are even somewhat reliable. You know, like if if they're hiding away in a corner, then you know that there's something wrong. I mean, uh, I don't know. It is what it is. Unfortunately, leaks are a thing, and they probably always will be because now in the age of the internet, there's plenty of ways for people to find out stuff, and all it really takes is one person to to start a fire. You know what I mean? So, I'm, I mm-hmm. think that's pretty much all I have to say on the subject. Anything. Anything else you want to say to, to close out, or you got all your no? All your thoughts? That was my closing statement right there. Yeah, like, I'm right. done. Yeah. I'm almost happy that we were either sick or busy the past week. And I think if we had the time, we probably would have recorded a whole video about leaks, about how the leaks confirmed, you were saying, and posted it. And then with our luck, that's what happened. Like, oh, well, now we're one of those people. So. Thank you for us being sick this entire week for not being able to do anything. Yep, yeah, that's pretty much the same for me. So, guys, let us know in the comments and, uh, and let us know what you think of of leaks. Do you pay attention to those videos? Do you hate them as much as we do? If you have any, you know, counter counter arguments, definitely let us know, and we'll do our best to uh, to talk to you guys right and uh, yeah, and and see what we can come up with. So, uh, if you enjoyed it, thank you so much for listening, and we'll definitely see you in the next episode.